Joey says, I've been looking into buying a mobile work stand. Any suggestions? Having the right tool for the job can make all the difference. Not only does this apply to specialty tools you may need to fix things on your bike, but can also apply to your work stand. Having a stand that you like and are comfortable using will save you time and frustration whether you're doing something simple or a full overhaul on your bike. When choosing a mobile repair stand to use either at home or at a race, there are a few things you'll want to consider, such as size, stability, adjustability, and the type of clamp that's being used. When it comes to size, the thing that I consider the most important is the overall height adjustability. This is important because it allows you to get the bike you're working on in a position where you won't have to be bending over the whole time to work on the bike. You'll also want to consider how much space the stand will take up, both folded and erect. In regards to stability, just about all mobile repair stands will use a tripod designed for the base. They provide great stability if the bike is positioned in the correct spot in relation to the legs of the stand. The only issue I've had with mobile stands is if you get a bike that's a little heavier than most and it's positioned between two legs of the tripod on certain feedback stands, the stand will tip over. It can be quickly remedied by lining the bike up with one of the legs, but this puts that leg right where you'll want to stand. Park stands use a slightly different design to eliminate that from happening, but do tend to have a little bit longer legs to achieve that stability. As far as adjustability goes, the main things I would look for are the ease of height adjustment and the flexibility of the clamping position. You aren't always going to be able to use the seat post to clamp the bike in the stand, so this allows for a little more flexibility. The last thing to consider is the type of clamp the stand has. Here at the shop, we use Park Tools professional micro-adjust clamps in custom stands that we built for the shop, but is the same clamp that is found on the Park Tool PRS25 Team Issue Folding Repair Stand. This clamp is very easy to use and has a quick release type function that makes releasing the bike much easier than unwinding the clamp all the way. Select feedback stands also feature a quick release function for removing bikes from the clamp. Having a clamp that is quick and easy to use makes a huge difference if you're taking bikes in and out of the stand frequently. With regards to the Park Tool Race Stand and the Feedback Sports Sprint Stands, they are great for road races and for the dedicated roadie. These stands use a traditional quick-release clamping system that isn't found on many mountain bikes these days. But if you only ride road or only work on road bikes, these stands are a great option. Now that you've chosen a stand, there are a few things to look out for when it comes time to use it. The most common place for people to clamp their bikes is the seat post. If you don't have enough seat post sticking out of the frame for the clamp to fit on, simply mark the seat height with a piece of tape and then raise the saddle until you have enough space. I recommend doing this with all dropper posts. I try to avoid clamping on the shaft of any dropper post because you may damage it and compromise the performance of the post. If that is your only option, I recommend wrapping it with a rag and clamping the bike as lightly as possible. Another thing to look for if you have to do that is any hose or cable and housing that may get kinked or interfere with the clamp. This is mainly an issue with dropper posts that have a cable or hose anchored at the top of the post. If you have a reverb, pay extra close attention because if the hose gets damaged, it's neither quick and easy nor cheap to fix. With the specialized command post, I will disconnect the cable from the post so it can be moved out of the way and not get damaged. Watch out for the coupler housing on the Kindshock Lev as well. If the seat post just isn't an option for clamping the bike into the stand, try the seat tube if you can, or the top tube as a last resort. With carbon bikes, be especially careful and only clamp on the top tube if you absolutely have to, but there's no situation where I recommend doing that. A good work stand can be used to clean, maintain, and can even be used as a parking spot for your bike. So hopefully this will help you pick the proper stand for your application and level of use. If you want your question asked on Ask a Mechanic, presented by Art Cyclery, send your inquiry to webletters at competitorgroup.com.